Hi, welcome to my soul search number seven. I'm in Dallas, Texas, in the home, in our home, and it is a beautiful Saturday here in Dallas, July 26th. Now, I do my soul search because I, as well as other people, feel that we want a greater sense of understanding about the world. And we always wonder and wondering what our purpose is in life. Today, I want to briefly discuss, discuss Kabbalah. And I recommend this book by Rabbi Cooper, Kabbalah and the Practice of Mystical Judaism. The book is entitled, God is a Verb. And it was written by David A. Cooper. The first question that we always say, what is Kabbalah and the word Kabbalah means to receive what had happened was that Jews somewhere around the 12th century after reading the Torah the three parts of the Tanakh being the Torah the prophets and the writings started thinking more about God they wanted to, to be more directly understand God through contemplation and arcane textual studies. And that's where Kabbalah came about. And it was written in the Zohar around sometime in the 13th century. Now Kabbalah is based upon the Kabbalistic idea of ten sefirot or divine emanations representing various aspects of God. And you can see these divine mentioned in the book in which it starts at the top with crown, wisdom, loving kindness, victory, foundation, empathy, beauty, strength, and understanding. And this is this is the 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 uh, this is what comes from God down to us. And the Zohar spells out in quite detail. And this came from the mystical portion of Judaism. Notice that God, there's no mention of judgment or no mention of jealousy in this. And this is why it comes to me to be a big problem on Young Kippur because Young Kippur is about jealousy it's about judgment and sinners and I feel that the God is a loving God loving kindness should rule the world and we should spend a day on loving with that in mind I hope you enjoyed it this thing on Kabbalah and some of my thoughts. Thank you. Bye.